The federal judge overseeing Baltimore police reform says if police were more engaged, they could have possibly prevented the July mass shooting in Brooklyn, the worst in the city's history. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court with new reaction from the acting commissioner. Mike. And Vic, he says he knows mistakes were made and he's determined that the department will learn from them. We're told this after action report, the draft alone is close to 100 pages and will be out very soon. The Brooklyn Day mass shooting was the largest in Baltimore's history. 30 people wounded, two of them died. Now, the judge overseeing federally mandated police reforms is weighing in and says if officers were out of their cars, walking the beat, and had the pulse of the community, the shooting would not have come as a surprise that left the department scrambling to respond. I'm confident the Brooklyn mass shooting after action report will reveal shortcomings in community engagement, Judge James Bradar said. He demanded transparency, a detailed report available to the public, and said, the test of a healthy police department is not whether mistakes are made, but how they react to their mistakes. Worley promised the judge those who didn't do their job will be held accountable. I asked him about it during a break in the hearing today. We could have done better, and, and we could have, and we'll, we'll stick to that. The report will pretty much show some of the things that we could have done better. While acknowledging challenges, Worley says he wants to be confirmed as the city's next commissioner and told Judge Bradar he needs to get the details right and improve morale. He says he personally texted the officers shot at this week by alleged carjackers about their well-being. You're watching WJZ exclusive video of the frightening incident. And Worley is hopeful for a smooth transition to the top job. This is the best transition I've ever seen. I think I've been through 11 police commissioners. This is the first time that the two commissioners, the outgoing and incoming, stood side by side and transitioned the department. Another big issue discussed today is the staffing shortage. Police have lost 76 officers just since the start of the year, and they are set to double the signing bonus for new officers. I'll have more details on that when I join you at 5 and 6. For now, we're live at Federal Court. Mike Helgren, WJZ.